why some employees resist directions and instruction, and how managers can resolve that. Maybe it's insubordination, a disregard for company policies, refusal to follow instructions, or challenging the authority of the managers. Maybe it's resistance to feedback, unwillingness to accept constructive criticism, or an inability to incorporate feedback into their work. Maybe it's attendance and punctuality, consistently late arrivals, frequent absences, or excessive breaks. Maybe it's lack of initiative, reluctance to take on additional responsibilities or initiative to improve work processes. Maybe it's ethical issues, violation of company policies, ethical misconduct, or dishonesty. With the lab profile, we recognize that these kinds of performance problems are based in the person's need to decide for themselves. They personally resist others deciding for them. There is an excellent management solution for getting these kinds of employees on track to good performance. It requires you to ask them to decide to accept, as opposed to you telling them they must accept. It is important to understand this person's mental platform. Their brain's firmware insists on deciding for themselves, so they will resist accepting your orders or direction. They need to decide for themselves, so you need to invite them to decide to follow the rules for themselves. After they decide for themselves, they can do the thing they are resisting. Your success comes from recognizing the that their mental architecture requires them to decide for themselves and packaging your communications with them to respect their need to decide. This is only one of 54 patterns of our brain's operational structure, which are identified by the lab profile. Managers use it to understand how to get the most from all their employees, customers, suppliers, and bosses. If you want to learn more about how managers benefit from the lab profile, click the link in this video's description.